Hey, how's it going everyone? Saints fan back again with another GTA Online video and today I'll be showing you guys how you can fast run in GTA Online. This is a super helpful little trick, little glitch. So hopefully you guys do enjoy and find this video helpful. Now normally I don't condone glitches in GTA Online, but this one I think is super innocent and if anything, it just makes some of the more frustrating parts of the game bearable. For instance, you can use this if you're up on a mountain and you already know you're car or whatever is going to spawn super far away well if you have the super speed or the fast run little cheat on then you can get there much quicker it just makes the little things a lot easier also running around in your bunker or in your hangar it makes that super convenient as well but let's get into how you do this because it's fairly simple you are going to need story mode and you're going to need knowledge of two cheats or three depending on which method you choose because there are two methods you can try either if one doesn't work, then try the other. I will say it's going to take some getting used to if you want to do this glitch constantly because it is all about timing. And like most things with timing, it takes a few tries to get it down. It took me about 15 or so minutes to actually get this thing consistently. Now to start us off, it doesn't matter which character you use. I'm going to be using Franklin and we're going to input the two cheats. Now this is falling off of a building method. So the two cheats we are going to need to know are the fast run cheat and the jump cheat, the jump high cheat. On PC, if you were wondering, it's you hit the tilde key and then it's catch me for the super run and it is hop to it for the super jump. If you're on PS4 or Xbox One, I will leave the codes to do them in the description. So once you have activated those two cheats, then what we're gonna do is find a building where if we were to jump off of it, we would die. And the perfect building, at least that I found, was this one right across from the hospital. And the reason this is perfect is because when you inevitably die, you won't have to run too far to get to this building again. So once we're up here, this is where it gets a little tricky. You're going to want to sprint, jump, and then hit B or circle to ragdoll all at the same time. And what you'll notice is my character jumps, goes in the ragdoll animation, and then starts falling towards the ground. And this is the timing part right before he hits the ground. About a foot, maybe less, before he hits the ground, you're going to want to hit pause or hit the start button. What that's going to do is obviously bring up the start menu. And if your character is close enough to the ground where he's not dead yet, then you can go into the online section and start up a lobby. It doesn't really matter which lobby you start, but I just for the sake of the video did a solo lobby and once you load into the lobby, usually you will have super speed. Now it's not anything too crazy, but it is very helpful, like I said. Now the part about timing, one little tip that I can give you guys if you're using a controller, hold down the start button because the way it works, it doesn't actually trigger the start menu until you let go. So if you're having trouble with timing, then just hold the start button and maybe even angle your camera so where you're sort of on level with your character, like in the game, so you can see how far you are away from the ground. And then once you get close enough, you let go of the start button and it should hopefully work. Now the other method, if that one isn't working, and this one I couldn't get it to work, but other people have told me this one works and it's actually a little bit quicker because you only need to input one cheat really. So this one is the explosion method and the two cheats you need to know for this one are the fast run again. So catch me if you're on PC and the weapons cheat, which is tool up. If you're on PC again, the link to those cheats or that cheat, the tool up one will be in the description for Xbox and PS4. And this is basically the same concept. What we're going to do is hold down the start button aim the RPG at the ground and shoot the RPG while simultaneously releasing the start button. So hopefully you will see a big explosion when you're in the start menu. If you don't see the explosion when you're in the start menu, odds are it didn't work. So don't go into online trying and hoping for it to work. You are going to need to have that explosion in the background. And then from here, same steps, go into the online tab, go to the solo or invite only lobby, and hopefully when you get in GTA Online, you will have the super speed. Like I said, I could not actually get this one to work, but people have reported it does work, and it is a little bit more efficient because you can constantly, like if you mess up and you die, you can just quickly get the weapon or get the super speed back, blow yourself up again, and try again, instead of 
jumping and trying to go onto a higher roof. So those are the two methods, very simple. The only part you're gonna have to get down is the timing, but once you have it down, it's fairly easy to do. Rockstar have not actually patched this in about a month, so odds are this might actually last until the next update. And like I said, it's not anything too overpowered. I mean, if you're on console, I don't see it being overpowered because people have auto aim, so regardless of how fast you're running, people can still easily kill you. And if you're on PC, there are worse things. Freaking modders in every lobby about to kill you, spawn stuff on you, crash your game take away all your weapons, take away your money. Like there are worse things on PC if you're in a free aim lobby. I just thought this was kind of useful, especially for just the little things, getting to your vehicles faster, getting around your hangar or your bunker faster, or just having some fun running around with your friends in GTA Online. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please drop the video like if you did. Thank you all for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.